so my name is Marsha Ford. Um, I was born in England, raised in England, but I am half Russian. My mum is from Russia. Um, I play violin. Um, I'm in my fourth year at the Royal College of Music and hoping I just accepted a place for masters. So I'll be staying for another two years. <laughs> Yeah, it's quite exciting. Uh, well, I've known Andrew through a few academic classes at college. So when you guys contacted me, I was like, yeah, sure, I'll help out. That sounds awesome. Because I've always heard him talking in classes about his compositions and stuff. Um, when I first got the music, uh, my first thought was, oh, it comes with instructions. <laughs> I was like, oh, OK, not what I was expecting. Um, this was actually also my first time doing anything of this sort. So I was really sort of absolutely open to anything. Um, when I first saw the part, it kind of, in a weird way, having known Andrew in classes, I could see how he had written everything out. I could see him on the page. I know that sounds really strange. <laughs> <laughs> but it sort of it was as if he was having a conversation with me literally telling me how what he wanted and the one thing I did love was how we were given the opportunity as performers to have a lot of control over what and how we played everything um I think that's something that you don't usually get because of course you need to have it like this strict time whatever whatever but in this, it was sort of, okay, here's a rough skeleton. Do what you want with it. And I thought that was actually really fun. So I had quite a few takes of the same stuff, but every single one was completely different, which I thought was really cool. <laughs> um, to start with, um, so what I did was I just hit record and I kind of, you first tried, first time looking at it, I just hit record to see what would happen. Um, to start with, I wasn't entirely sure on where I was going because I felt like I had put too much energy into the start and didn't leave enough time for when the whole phrase came together, when we were adding each note every 30 seconds. Um, and then after I did it a few times, I kind of, in a weird way, I was sort of imagining something either like, a sunrise or a sunset something that is not a natural sort of phenomenon um evolving step by step um and it was like take a and funnily enough um where my apartment is in london i'm on the seventh floor so i can see all of london and at that time the sun was setting as well so it was weird it kind of was really really matching and the change of light and the change of how all the lights in the houses come on or even like the smallest thing in a weird way, like my surroundings really affected how I was playing. Uh, the first thing that springs to mind, I mean, being a string player, whenever someone says tuning, the first thing we think of is intonation. Um, but then putting the two words together, tuning in, it kind of, even though I was playing by myself, in a weird way, I was tuning in to the silences or tuning into what someone else could be doing in my silences once the whole thing had been put together. So even though I was playing by myself and I was very aware of me and my interpretation and what I was doing and where I was taking it, I could always imagine and sort of in my own way tune in to what could be, if that makes sense. <laughs> 